So, yeah. So, would you, so, is that spicy? Like, if I test it right now, if I licked it? You probably would not want to lick this just like that right now. Let me see. Let me eat it. Ain't nothing for you to eat. Let I don't think one. you could, I don't think. Let me eat one. I don't think this, I don't think this is that, baby. Let me eat it. Let me eat that. Oh, you can eat that. Oh, so I can eat that, but I can't eat it. Halula, Jalula, Jalila. That's not what it says, baby. What's up, y'all? We back with another episode of the Vanguard. Yes, y'all, it is cooking with Risha today, and you, as you can see, I had to go ahead and get a head start or whatever because it might actually take a little minute. But basically, what we are cooking today is Barria Tacos! Period. So basically, I have all these peppers here chili peppers. They say the, the chili, the chili. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yes, I have all these peppers here, so I've got. Pasilla. Okay. Pasilla. And then I got the chile. Okay. And then I got the, that's the same thing. And then I got the guarillo. Tarina. I hope I, I hope I'm saying that right. Tarina. I didn't take Spanish and I'm kind of like upset about it because in school I did not take Spanish. I took French and I don't know why they put me in French and honestly, I barely even know any French. Like they should have taught me Spanish, period. So. That's just that. But it's all good, though, because I can go back and learn whatever. So, I ain't tripping. So, what I am doing right now is basically how you start off to make these um, tacos. Is basically, I'm going to make chicken and beef. Beef is going to be for, like, coca and Deontay going to come over. <coughs> Sorry. I had a coffee. Shush. Beef is going for coca and chicken is going to be for me or whatever you know what i'm saying y'all gonna come over later so he'll probably have some too or whatever but i want to make two different kinds i know a lot of people be like oh they don't make because i went to this um mexican restaurant to try to see if they sold these and they was like they didn't sell the chicken ones or whatever they don't have chicken or whatever so i'm gonna just make my own make my own a certain type of way i made these before and the first time that i made them they were super super good Oh, the stuff you made with the dip that time? Yeah. Ooh, I'm finna be full as hell. Yes, honey. Yeah, baby. So basically what I'm doing right now is basically I am taking these and I'm cutting them open because you have to deceive them. So basically you want to take all of the seeds out because I guess like that's where all of the spice is at and you don't want it to be like super, super spicy or whatever. It's already enough flavor in the skin of this pepper here, okay? So you got to take them seeds out because there's a whole bunch of seeds in there and it might get too spicy. Okay, so okay. Ones who don't eat super, super spicy food or whatever. And this is also how I've seen other people make their recipes. Okay. Yes, honey. Okay, okay. So I'm putting them over here. I kind of forgot how I made these the first time, so I'm going to have to look and see how to make these again. <laughs> but it's all good because you know what I'm saying? Once your girl gets going, your girl gets going. <laughs> and that's just that enough. So, yeah. So, would you, so is that spicy? Like if I test it right now? If I licked it? You probably would not want to lick this just like that right now. Let me see. Let me eat it. Ain't nothing for you to eat. Let I don't think eat you could. I don't think. Let me eat one. I don't think this. I don't think this is that, baby. Let me eat it. Let me eat that. Oh, you can eat that. Oh, so I can eat that, but I can't eat it. Period. Halula, jalula, jalila. That's not what it says, baby. Ooh, they also can. I still want to take point. a Spanish class though, because I really, really want to always <laughs> take Spanish and like learn Spanish. So, um, I'm a little upset about that, but you know, I'll talk about it. Okay, grab right here. Baby, you're so weird. <laughs> you see? Oh, nice little corn. pepper. Let me smell it. Smell it. Mm -mm. Exactly. You want to eat that? I smell like it. Uh... Like it's going to burn your mouth. <coughs> oh, shooty. Baby, back up now. That's, that came from me on this. 
<laughs> Look at that, it's like a bag of roaches. Did you cough on it? It's like a bag of roaches. No, I didn't cough on anything. I had my hands on it. <laughs> it's like a bag of roaches. Look at that, Look at that. it's like some dates. It does kind of look like date. So yeah, I have to cut these up and deseed them and yeah, we'll be right back. We'll be right back because you know that thing is fire. Yes, y'all, y'all. Ooh, my bad, baby, I am so sorry. Why you always gotta take it there? <laughs> like with your stupid ass, corny, back up. Stop recording. Ooh, you got so what I'm doing here is basically I'm just going to roast these chili peppers a little bit or whatever in some oil. Let me turn the heat down because you don't want to get too hot. And then once I do that, I'm also going to transfer them to a pot with some water and let them boil okay. so that we can get that color going okay. as well because we are starting on our sauce. In the meantime as well too, I'm going to go ahead and brown my chicken and my steak and then put it in the crock pot. So I'm actually gonna do a separate. I'm gonna have a pot for steak and then I'm gonna have a pot for chicken. Okay. 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 But you see that smoke? That means that they're at a good temperature. Don't wanna burn them. Just put a little oil, you know, flip them, get that flavor going. And you don't want to, when you transfer this over to the pot with the water, you want to keep that oil as well too because you're gonna use that because that's also a part of the flavoring. So, mm. yes. So we're gonna turn this down now. And we're gonna actually <coughs> transfer them over to the pot. Right? Okay. oil that you see here even though it's a little bit just set that to the side okay and then we're gonna put some water in here okay and then we're gonna let it boil all right turn our stove on and let that boil and then I'm about to go get our meats prepared. All right guys, so it's getting a little, little messy up in here, but we all good though, okay? So what I've done already is in my crock pot, I have my chicken, I added onion, chicken bouillon, and some minced garlic, and garlic powder and onion powder. And I did the same for, for my steak pot, I put my steak in here, and I browned it also before Okay, you gotta brown that chicken, you gotta brown that steak. Okay, so I browned it before in this pan here and I put them in there and I have also in there, I have beef bouillon, chicken, I'm sorry, beef bouillon, the steak, um, garlic powder, onion powder, and mint salt. Now we have our peppers. So I let them sit for 20 minutes, okay? And that's just so that they can soften. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically put them in a blender, okay, period. So that we can begin to make our sauce. And they're very soft, so we're gonna put that in there. And mind you, everybody, I've seen so many different recipes on these barilla tacos. And everybody makes theirs different. So, I don't know if there's really like a correct way to even make these. Because it's like everybody's recipe is so different. Ooh. Gotta get all those peppers up out of there. And put them where they are needed sweets, where they are needed. Okay, so we got pretty much all the, all the peppers out. So I'm gonna save that water because you wanna save that so that you can be able to put that into your steak, chicken, whatever, into your meat 
All right. So what I'm also gonna put in this blender too here is I'm going to put some bay leaves, some ground cloves, and a little bit of cinnamon. Again, this is for our sauce here. So I'm gonna put some bay leaves. Now, don't put too much of any of this stuff in there because it can really take over and overpower. If you guys know about bay leaves, then you know that it can like literally overpower. So I put like a piece of one in there. I'm gonna put a full one and probably like a half of one in there because I don't want it to overpower. It tastes too much like a bay leaf, child. Yeah. So I'm gonna just break this one because these bay leaves are so strong. Okay, and I'm gonna put it in there. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Or you can use, um, they also have cinnamon sticks. I actually have these sticks. Cinnamon sticks. I have these too, but I'm actually, I don't know, I'm a little nervous about using because they might be over too overpowering. So I'm gonna just use some ground cinnamon. And I'm just going to shake, 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 shake. And that's it. Not too much. And even when it comes down to the ground cloves, you don't want to use too much, honey. Not too much because again, these seasonings and you know spices and stuff can really overpower something. So you just want to be careful about how much you're using. Okay. Take the top off of that ground clove. Okay, that's it. Not too much. Also. Got the oregano. You also want to put that in the mixture with the chicken and the shrimp. I'm talking about chicken and shrimp. Girl, ain't nobody chicken over there. Ain't nobody cooking no shrimp up in here. Alright. So you want to put that in there with the chicken and the steak. I'm sorry. Sprinkle that over there. We're gonna open this steak up. Sprinkle that steak up over there. Okay. And I think that's it. All that I have to put in here. Bear with me, y'all. Oh yeah. And you also wanna take that oil too that you had from earlier from the peppers. And we're just gonna place that in there too. Cause that's like some flavoring in there. So we're gonna put that in there too. So that that's not going to waste. And we're gonna put a little bit of this water here from the peppers. We're gonna put some of that in there. Actually, we can put all of it in there. Okay. All right, let's put our top back on our chicken. Cause it's still simmering. Still hot, you know, you're hot like fire. All right, so let's say, I don't even. Oh. That was close, y'all. Oh my god. Ooh, this is a strong blender. They try to get you. So you wanna blend that thing on up. And I put my blender on thick. We got that. Take our little top off. Okay. And we are going to filter the stuff out. Yay. So, where is it? You want to grab a strainer? Because basically what you want to do is you want to just filter out all of that stuff. Make sure it doesn't get in there. You want to filter out like the chunks of whatever is up in there and get it on up out of there, child. Okay. And you want to pour that over your chicken. Okay. And if you want to make it stretch, you can. You can do beef stock. You can add beef stock, chicken stock, whatever. And nine times out of 10, that's probably what I'm gonna do. 
because yeah that's just what I want to do and you want to make it stretch so that you have enough sauce up in there okay but you want to put it up in the strainer so that it can filter out all the big clunks stuff like from those bay leaves and all of that and if you put like you know real big clunks of stuff see it caught all of that stuff and all of like the residue from like the peppers and stuff so if you see let me show you guys what i'm talking about so if you see it's caught all the stuff from like the peppers and all that stuff or whatever because you don't want that in your sauce okay so we're going to add some of that to our beef as well chicken stock or chicken broth but it's all good though okay we're gonna turn that up and we're also gonna do the same to our beef Okay guys, so I've been letting our meat simmer for about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And as you can see, the chicken is starting to fall apart. Child, look at it, it looks so juicy, I can't get it. Wait a minute, I can't get it. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Well basically, it looks good. Okay. And also, if we come over here to our steak, our steak looks great as well. Our steak is falling off that bone. Oh, wait, it don't even have no bone, but it's just falling apart. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are just about ready to go ahead and prepare our tacos. All right, guys, so here's the steak. If you see our steak is nice and juicy, then we're going to cut our steak the same way that we did our chicken. Yes, honey, yes, honey, yes. Oh, that thing is tender and juicy. Don't try to run from your back. Don't try to run from your back. Next time I'm gonna try some salmon loose. Salmon, shrimp. Mm. I wonder how that would taste. Probably good as hell. And go ahead. Okay, ready? Alrighty, guys. And this is my. Beef. And we are live with our red sweets. Catch us on the next episode of Cooking with Bisha. And yeah, catch us on the next episode of the Bingo. We will be doing 